Everyone has a dinosaur that matches their personality. What's yours? Are you a clever velociraptor? Or will you be crowned king of the dinosaurs? Now, fun fact, I'm not actually that fussed about dinosaurs. Obviously, I'm intrigued by the history of them. But as specimens themselves, like, nah. I'm not fussed about Jurassic Park. I'm not fussed about anything else, really. So, I don't know what I expect from this. I never do with these quizzes. I try to, but it's never right. Definitely went with the Dino Obsession phase as a kid. Did you? See, I didn't. I went through a Resident Evil Obsession phase. Uh, no, I don't know. Mine was more tigers. I was very obsessed with tigers when I was younger. Right. I saw trips with dinos. Nice. I had dinos very early on. Which of these colours are you feeling today? Well, well. You'd have just had to end a play too early because I got stuck. Uh, red. But, um. We'll go for a yellow. Because then the day. Oh. <laughs> Alexa, make light red. Okay. Because at the end of the day, like, it's fine. Like, whatever happened with, with the Dino Crisis, even if I don't upload it, it's fine. I probably will back it up just so I have it. And then I can literally just play it whenever I want and finish the end off. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay, why well, are switches of the quiz considering what I chose and what answer I got? My answers will get. See, I've noticed that with a few of the ones that we do. Where I will give answers and it will, in return, give me something with, which which is has very specific description, yet was like the things that it says are opposite to the answers I gave. So, fun. Okay. But yeah, um, we'll go yellow. I wouldn't say blue. I'm not, I'm not massively sad. Uh, green was like all okay. No, not overly angry. You wouldn't say I'm getting there. I don't know what. I don't know how to feel purple. Do I feel purple? It's strangled. Right, go for yellow. It's how I'm feeling. It's not like a favorite color or anything, which I find quite interesting. Which of these words best describes you? You chose purple. Oh, all right. Relaxed, intelligent, friendly, competitive, bold, or loving. Relaxed? I think out of these. Just felt pep, couldn't see well. Yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. This is one of those things. You know if you know, don't you? Uh I do come across as friendly quite a lot, but if anything you love it, I'm gonna go with relax. I always find myself to be very laid back, so it's too laid back. Um, so yeah, let's do that. On a Friday night, what are you most likely to be doing? Netflix, clubbing, dinner and drinks, reading a book, sleeping, or spa night? I mean, streaming normally, but. I'd say sleeping. If I had to choose one of these, it would be, maybe it'd be Netflix, but for the most part. If I had to choose, I'd just be asleep. I think mine is me at all. Okay. If you're confronted with a stressful situation, how do you approach it? Head on to resolve it as quickly as possible by planning a million possible solutions before acting on one of them. Reaching your friends and family for advice, thinking positively, and reassuring yourself with encouraging thoughts, taking time out, giving yourself a break from whatever is making you stressed. Uh, you don't, you end up taking a nap to escape your responsibilities. Oh, a stressful situation. Um. So, it's a combination between this one. Planning, planning a billion, a million possible solutions, or reaching out to friends and family for advice. 
because I kind of do both. Probably this one. I only do this if I'm feeling stuck. I only do the reaching out if I'm feeling stuck, so. Do this one also. Which genre of music do you usually listen to? Pop, indie, EDM, R&B, rock or classic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm the same. It's not bad that out of these, EDM is probably close. Like, it's between EDM and rock. That's pretty bad. I've been trying to find more, like... It's a very specific part of EDM. Literally just work out what EDM is. Oh, sorry. Well, what by me saying that I like it? But, uh, it's definitely not all EDM though. There's a very particular part of it that I like and I'm trying to find it. Yeah, it is from electronic. Yeah, drum and bass, but I've still listened to some drum and bass. Like, I'm trying to find, like, the genre that it is so I can find, like, a list of ones. Because definitely, like, I definitely have a type that I like. But, yeah, like, bass, uh, relative uh, pace as well. Got me pretty fast. Um, but, yeah, like, stereotypical shit, really, but I can't find the ones that I like. <laughs> yeah, some of, uh, yeah, little, little bigs, but again, like all of little big stuff, there's different parts of it that I just don't like. Uh, or there's parts where just a part of it I do like. So, I don't know. I think, give it as a personality test. Oh, Audi, just start sending me them in dis in their Discord, please. Just send me the names. I like Pendulum. Again, only some of the stuff though, but. If I've got artists that I can start looking through, rock or indie for me, but I'm um, classing indie as Britpop basically. But that's the thing, for me, it's more metal that I listen to. So I guess probably. Oh, good lad. It's, it's the degenerate side of me that like people don't see because. Uh, tend not to listen to it just because I can't find versions that I like. Or if it is, it'll be like one song in the middle of nowhere. It's, I don't know what it is. Well, I like Pendulum. I'm going to go with Rock because out of these two, I definitely draw more it would be like heavy rock, metal, all that stuff. No, no, that's the thing. So, and obviously, if it's a personality test, my attribute, my personality traits work towards, more towards rock than it does EDM, but like, I'm not outgoing, I'm not clubbing all the time to, to encounter this EDM. In fact, I used to think Chase and Status was actually Jason Status. I've never heard, well, never heard of it, but typically with me is, once I know that I heard the song, I'll have recognised it from somewhere. Which of these things is most important to you? Love, trust, money, loyalty, independence, health, trust. Always trust. Easily. Loyalty is a close second, but I feel like trust goes hand in hand with loyalty. And I want trust in pretty much any... And I want trust in pretty much any situation. If you don't trust me, you can fuck off. I work very hard to get people to trust me and always maintain that trust. And if I, if whatever reason that gets ruined, I want to rebuild it. And if I don't trust you, you can fuck off, basically. Lightly was a very close second, but trust always is the first thing that comes into my head, like without even looking at this. So, if I were to go through independence, would also be pretty high up there. Um, 
Okay, about 75% of the same answer as me right now. Oh, good, so I'm going to be absolutely displeased with my answer. Brilliant. Health, I don't look after myself enough. Love, love's what you make it, I feel, sometimes. I love Resident Evil, I wouldn't say to I, I wouldn't say the, my love of that is, well, it is kind of important to me. And money, money I'd say should be the most important thing to you. Whatever you're doing to earn it should be the most important thing to you. Or one of. But yeah, I don't know. Just trust came to me first. More of a good instinct. Um, but they're all pretty... Um, loyalty and independence are pretty high up there as well. I hate love someone I can't trust. I find trusting someone isn't necessarily love. I had to choose with a gun in my head. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, no that makes sense. And lastly, which of these locations feels most like home? He's a what? Really? See, relaxing and home are two very different things, to me at least. Um, Probably something like uh, snow and elk for the win. No, I think you picked. I think you picked this one. I think you picked the beach. You chose the farmy one. Oh, I was about to pick the exact same one. Oh shit! Huh. I got the Velociraptor. You like? Does it? Does quickly go through these? Sorry. Um, this is, looks a bit too busy. This is way too busy. Um, there's a lot of fuss about. It's too cold. This is too warm. So you got Velociraptor, just like a Velociraptor. You're clever and quick-witted. You may not be the biggest or the strongest individual, but your quick thinking and logical approach allows you to solve most of life's problems. And although you value your independence, you're able to work closely with who you've given you trust and loyalty. Oh, I actually agree with that. That one's pretty good, actually. Spider sort of, okay, hang on. Start with Laketa. So Laketa got Spinosaurus. You've got a competitive and fiery personality that is well suited to the largest carnivorous dinosaur. Whether it's being top of the food chain or best in your class, you're always looking to gain the edge so that you can be crowned the winner. While your friends may get tired of you treating everything like competition, nothing will beat the satisfaction that comes from being your very best. Yeah, okay, I wouldn't say that to you. That's fair. Sarah also got Spinosaurus. Interesting. Do you got Prontosaurus? Yes, I know that's your favourite. Uh, with that lovable and gentle personality, it's no wonder you being paired with the Brontosaurus. You're modest and playful, and much prefer to live your life in the slow lane. Try to avoid any sort of drama or confrontation, as it's just not your scene. But if it involves your friends and family, you won't really get involved because you'll do anything to protect them. <sighs> oh. Already got Segasaurus with your relaxed and humble attitude towards life. It's given that you've been paired with a Stegosaurus. You don't want to be stressed, but instead of but instead let you take things slow and go with the flow. This sort of mentality, you're way more likely to enjoy all of life's little adventures. Alright. In Teresante? 